Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, we are going to have a look at Publisher theme. It's by Shopify and it's a completely free theme. So first, we will have a look at the demo store and then the customizer on my dev store. So you can see this is by default Shopify's Publisher theme and it has bold images you can see big large images and also this is home page and these are basically the buttons this was a desktop view if you switch over to mobile smartphone this is the default look and feel of publisher theme now if you just click on any of the products this will take you to the product template or product page and this is how it looks basically so yes so this theme is okay different than dawn theme and what else okay let's check on the small device so this is how it looks and okay the default thing here okay, so you would be able to you are the images alrighty so what I'm going to do I'm going to install it on my store so just try this theme I already have installed it to save time if you want to try you simply go to Shopify admin and click on visit store theme store and uh, from this price filter check the free ones and scroll down you'll find publisher somewhere on my screen here it is at the very bottom row okay so just go ahead and open it and add it to your store and then you can try it so now I'm going to have a look at the customizer so we'll check what are the sections available and section options so this is publishers theme and this theme has the announcement section and under header and you can change the logo by going to image selector you can also change upload a favicon that has to be 32 by 32 pixels you can obviously manage the colors this is background gradient let you see here you can change it let's say you want to change the color so you can simply make it basically you can experiment with it anyway so So you can experiment with this gradient part obviously it's 
okay so this is how it looks and i'll go back go back to my theme section so i'll just close this colors and then you can this is basically home page home page template now we can have a look at the product page template if you go back to home page and go to the sections you would be able to customize each sections here and add new ones these are sections available these are app sections which i have enabled from here this all it is already installed on my store so that's why you can see them uh, there are two sections available on the footer and on the header section you've got the liquid theme which you can add and then you can add blocks to and obviously custom CSS to each blocks each blocks and sections so let's move on to product default template and this is sections uh, I will change this product to this this product and obviously okay this is how it looks by default and if you go under product information you would be able to switch some of the available options here this is media fit so you want to you want to have fill, nominal carousel, thumbnails or carousel. I think this looks okay. Uh, image, zoom. These are basically default options we have. Hide thumbnail on mobile. Yes. You want to have the buttons instead of these thumbnails on mobile devices. Hide as a variant. After selecting the very enable video loop, I don't have any video here. Sticky content on desktop, okay. Title somewhere. Okay, so that's basic stuff here we have. Then we have product information, related product you can see, and then rich text with image and then image banner these are other sections that you can put on your products page you can also go ahead and on products page sorry product information section you can add uh, reviews and star ratings if you have installed any app and there are a few other blocks under this product information section that you can use now let's move on to collections collections default this is basically collections and we want to have a look at the collections list very generic view here Featured product, you don't want to have featured product, but you can have slideshow here. And then go to one of the collections, default collection, and these are the product under this collection with another image banner at the bottom. This collection, uh, let's check the product page. So I've got two product templates one is the generic uh, page template sorry not product template page template and then we have another contact us with this contact us form 
and then we have got blog which is basically collections of blog which you can see listing the blogs all right so now if you go to blog post here we have back to blog let's see okay so this is blogs default blog which comes under blog so this is singular blog which should give you the naming is slightly different then so one has to be article single or and then other one is the list so blogs is basically okay so the blogs is basically categories okay so one category is blogs the default blog with four blogs assigned to it blog post is blog under blog blog post or article under a blog so if it's still not clear you definitely want to have a look here so these are blogs okay under these blogs or you can see categories blog post categories reviews you can have posts so i have only one post here okay now you can see it says blog post this is blog post and then this is blog which is basically a taxonomy for blog okay and then launches this is another blog and this is a blog post all right so i think that's it uh, that's all we have you can definitely want to have a look at the mobile screen before you launch a product uh, store collections this is all collections so products products from all collections all right thank you for watching if you have any suggestion question leave in the comment below and i will try to answer it easy thanks again have a good day bye for now